Hey guys, it's Khalid here and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be looking at the Bixia gaming chair. I hope I pronounced that right by the way. One of the key selling points of this chair is the attractive buying price. Stay tuned to find out if it's any good. So I paid just under £130 in the UK, the links will be available in the description to purchase in the US and UK. The chair comes with three different colour options, so you get the base colour which is black and you have three different types of colour accents, so they are red, blue and the one I've chosen is white because I think personally that's the best colour combination available for this chair. If you haven't already then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave a like. The chair is really ergonomic, it has nice stability and it can take quite a bit of weight. I really like the big chunky wheels on these chairs because you can move around from carpets to rugs to wood with absolute ease. The design is very nice, it looks like a racing car seat and there's really nice crisscross designs across the bottom of the chair and at the back. On the right hand side of the chair there is a recline lever and it goes all the way to the back. When I mean all the way it's pretty much flat, a full 180 degrees. The seating position is quite comfortable, it's also quite large so if you're on the larger side there is enough room to accommodate your assets. Um, the lumbar support is really nice, soft and cushiony and gives you enough back support when you're on it for long periods of time. My only negative point, if the seat padding was slightly thicker then it would have been more comfortable to sit on. We have 10 centimeters of height adjustability. The lowest being at 44 centimeters, moving all the way up to 54 centimeters. So the lever also has another purpose, you've got height adjustability, but if you look at to the left it will stop the rocking function and you unlock it by sliding it to the right. At the top of the headrest you get additional cushion which acts as neck support. It's really nice and soft, some people decide to take it off, but when I've had it on I realised that it works wonders and it's really needed to use the chair for a prolonged amount of times. There's one thing I love about this chair is when you lean back there's extra large sides so it almost hugs your shoulders to the chair. The same is also applied from the bottom section so when you sit down there's a really comfortable seating position and you won't have any issues if you're using this chair for prolonged hours such as gaming sessions, editing sessions or just relaxing whilst you're reading a book. I've used it for around four to five hours. I didn't have have any neck pains or any lumbar issues or any back pains so quite good for a chair that costs less than 130 pounds you get six levels of height adjustment for the armrest so if you want it all the way down you can do that if you want it all the way up that's absolutely fine and if you're a guy who's indecisive and wants it somewhere in between that's also perfectly fine on the armrest you have a swivel function so the normal position is keeping it straight but if you like to keep your arms a little bit outwards that's fine just click it once to the right and if you prefer to keep it inwards just click it once to the left. The downside to the armrest is that you can't move it back and forth. When I'm using this chair I normally have it set to three recline options so the first one is being totally upright that's when I need my full concentration if I'm doing work on a project or doing some research. The second one is when I'm gaming I'd like to recline a little bit further back just to enjoy the game a little bit more and the third one is if I'm on my mobile phone or reading a book I like to relax and chill and maybe put my feet up. These are the three recline options that I normally use but as you can see from the demonstration it goes from 180 degrees to 90 so pick your fancy. So what do I think of the chair? For the price point it's fantastic, it's comfortable, you can use it for long hours however there are a couple of negatives and these include there is no back and forth adjustability on the armrest and I would like the seating padding to be slightly thicker to provide more comfort and longer use. Alright guys so that sums up my review of the Big Sia ergonomic gaming chair. Let me know what you think of the chair in the comment section below. If you like the content then please leave a like and if you want similar content, more reviews, more unboxings and anything tech related then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as this helps me out a lot. Alright guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.